and my hope is that at the end of this course you're going to uh, feel confident about um, being able to sort out issues of language and cognitive abilities with case examples and um, know which tools to use or to seek out in order to accomplish those goals. So these two cases, John and Helen, show how important executive function are um, for the transfer of training from one context to another. Um, and therefore, it's very important for us to assess and take into account executive function among individuals with aphasia. Um, and then just another thing we are starting to know a little bit more about, it may be that for individuals with aphasia who have lower executive function, they may require more practice uh, more treatment in order to master a strategy uh, and be able to use it uh, just as in the example of John and Helen. Now verbal fluency like animal naming or uh, coming up with words that begin with a particular letter um, are usually associated with left frontal lobe functions and design fluency um, has is usually considered the right hemisphere homologue of verbal fluency. So uh, another nice feature of the Cognitive Linguistic Quick Test is that it does include a design fluency uh, measure or task as well. Um, what this may do is give some measure of right hemisphere uh, or right frontal lobe function.